Anyway, folks, we have to talk about an upcoming event that is going to lead to absurd stock market volatility. It could even lead into a global economic crash. This is not a conversation I want to have when I talk to my friends about this. It's always in light passing, and I have to shine a light on how you need to be hedging your portfolio today with specific companies that are highly related to the Canadian economy. And I want to start off by saying when we look at the global economy in general, and we'll just focus on the Western world as the moment here, when we're talking about the S&P 500 that is still trading down 5.15%, the NASDAQ that is still trading down 10%, how is the Canadian economy outperforming literally every global economy? I mean, the TSX is trading up 4% year to date, and I'm going to break down why the Canadian economy is going to be so prevalent moving forward because it's obviously highly related to what is going on with these geopolitical events. What I am witnessing after the United Nations got together today is only comparable, I think, to what my grandparents went through during World War II. It is displacing millions of people and the catastrophic events we just witnessed are only comparable to a genocide. Side. I got to be careful how I say this. I do not want YouTube to flag this, guys. But honestly, I was going to share footage, but you have to go and research this on your own. But I just feel like in the Western bubble, nobody in the stock market community even wants to mention this anymore. And it is so unbelievably prevalent because they're going to go into a private investigation. Obviously, the global economies have been trying or the global nations have been trying to stay away from getting involved with what has been going on with Russia and the Ukraine. But after this investigation is finished, you can no longer turn a blind eye to this anymore and if this becomes another world war I don't know what the events are going to lead to, but I can tell you it is going to severely affect the markets in a very, very heavy way, guys. And it, like, it, let's just get into this primarily focused on the Canadian economy because not that this is a fun conversation to talk about how you can make money off of this. I'm just primarily trying to help you protect your portfolio in a very diversified way. Now, what makes the Canadian economy so different than the US economy is we are literally one of the richest countries on the entire planet because of our commodity reserves. We own 10% of the entire oil reserves. We have the highest grade uranium deposits. We are going to be a leader in battery metals. We own the largest gold and precious metal companies on the planet. We have some of the highest grade copper mines, like literally lumber. Every single youth, every single thing used amongst your entire life is generally highly concentrated in Canada. So let's talk about our top weighted companies versus the S&P 500. Because many of you know we're largely weighted financial stocks. This is primarily driven from real estate booming and obviously the banks doing exceptionally well off of this, but where there's the stuff really driving a lot of the Canadian economy is energy and commodities. Look at Enbridge. It's the third largest company being the largest pipeline company in the Western world. The Canadian Natural Resources, TC Energy, Nutrien. This is a fertilizer company and it is the 12th largest company in Canada worth $56 billion here, guys. As you scroll down, Suncor Energy, a massive oil company. Barrick Gold, the largest publicly traded gold company. I mean, you go on and you see Imperial Oil. This will go on and on for the top 50 holdings in Canada. These are the stocks, as much as people think they are overvalued, are going to be a continued conversation. I know everyone's like, oh, oil's had its day. Oil's going to pull back. It doesn't even matter if it pulls back. The severity of fixing the geopolitical global supply chain that has now been disrupted is going to basically have ramifications for the next year, two years, three years, and potentially even farther than that, depending on how this unfolds. So many of you know I've been adding Enbridge to my portfolio as, as part of this hedge. I mean, take a look at some of these oil stocks. Imperial Oil, how our oil stocks still going up if oil is primarily, primarily peaked because of this event, guys. TC Energy still another pipeline company crushing it. There's Suncor trading up 25.85%. Look at Nutrien. The amount of global food supply chains that are about to get disrupted because of this is going to affect, obviously, not us as, as heavily in the Western world, but globally, it's going to lead to ramifications that will inevitably impact us, guys. We don't realize that just because we don't have these problems, if other countries do, they are also large suppliers of other economies. And if their economies are struggling because of food and because of other issues, it's going to continue to lead to problems here as well. And I don't think people understand that kind of domino effect where it's just going to impact everybody in a severe manner. Look at Barrick Gold here. Now, I'm not the biggest proponent of precious metal stocks, but I understand the value of this. I mean, when you're talking about things like Cameco, which is a nuclear, uh, basically mine based or a uranium mining company, right? Like these things are going to become, I just can't see anything more than just in insanely prevalent. Here's another mining company guys trading up 20 
2%. These are the stocks that are literally the hedges if you do not have some kind of asset that's disconnected, right? This is why I'm so bullish still on things like cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, something that offers you know, a disconnect from what will be some crazy stuff coming forward here, guys. I don't want to ramble on about this because I can't even wrap my head around how this is even happening. It's such a disgusting conversation, but I just be well aware in the next month or two, the European Union is going to, or the United Nations are going to do that investigation. I listened to that conversation today. They even had a Russian a representative there talking about how they see what is going on. And it is so disconnected that, like I said, this is, this is going to, this is going to get real. This is going to get very real very soon. I hope that it, it pulls back and we start seeing it settle down. I would love to see that happen. But right now we're in the midst of something much worse than that. And it is cascading into things that are only getting worse. So I pass the question off to you guys. I just wanted to shine a light on this because no YouTubers talking about it. So I hope you can appreciate it. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. And I definitely don't want to be a guy like warmongering into companies that are going to make you rich like Lockheed Martin. But I, I hope you just understand the value of diversification and just taking a breath and just focusing on family and friends and just shit that really matters in life. But stay cool, stay awesome, and as always, I look forward to catching you in the next one.